the election of constituency executives for the new patriotic party in the Utu Senya West constituency delayed as a result of some anomalies on one of the ballot papers. One of the candidates, Richard Isson Bonke, who is vying for the position of the second vice chairman of the party, noticed his official photograph for the elections has been swapped and instead a picture of him at a funeral which he did not officially give to the electoral commission used. This resulted in the elections delaying for hours, but eventually he lost and has threatened to sue the electoral commission. Today when we came here, I saw that my picture has been changed. Two years picture that I took when I, I went to a funeral. I'm in this clothes, but later I saw that they have changed my picture. Two years picture that they used for the pulling paper. So I'm pretty that if I win the lesson, I'll be okay with them. When I lose the lesson, they are going to pay my money for me. The EC or the IT guy, which is big five, is a dairy bridge. After everything was done, what happened was that they saw my picture in the envelope with the IT guy. Instead of him using my new picture that I gave it them, they went and took my two years picture, two years back picture for the program. So I'm appealing to region, national, that if I win the election, free and fair. But if I don't win the election, if I lose, I'm taking the EC to court, including the IT guy. At the end of polls in the Utu Senya West, a new entrant, Paul Edu, won the chairmanship position and expressed his commitment to foster unity among party folks. It is quite an unprecedented one, you know. The contest was a very difficult one. To travel from the length and length of this constituency is not a joke. Now that I've won the election, the only thing I need to do is to try every means possible to unite every Tomdik and Harry who, one way or the other, were peeved and therefore decided to register outside the constituency. So it is my duty to unite everybody now that I'm the chairman. There are some fascists in this constituency, and fascists are normal. When you go to the national, we have Alan fashion and Baumia fashion. But at the end of the day, they come together for the common goal. Yeah. If we really want to break the age that we have been speaking for, then the only thing we need to do is to try as much as possible to unite everybody. Yeah. And for that matter, we can make a head. There were interesting fallouts in some parts of the central region, particularly Aguna East constituency, where a first female constituency chairperson has been elected. Hannah Asamoa beat her two male contenders to lead the party as a chairperson. In October last year, Anna Samoa, who was the president's nominee for the district chief executive, was rejected with some aggrieved foot soldiers accusing the executives of sabotage. Anna Samoa garnered 339 votes out of a total of 661 votes with the other two candidates sharing the rest of the spoils. In the Asin South, Mfansaman and Gumwa Central constituencies, five new entrants won while five old executives also lost. Meanwhile, the Confi constituency elections has been suspended following a court injunction secured by some aggrieved party folks over the voting album.